Well, it was a platform where people could walk around. Yeah. And step in the boat, you know, and check it out. Yeah. And what are you doing with that light on? <laughs> light on. Oh, that's just that's just the light on. But hey, it was fun. I wish I was back doing it. That was my life. I mean, everything that was paid for. You wear a suit. You got to wear a suit. I had Jimmy. Uh, How many suits did you have? Oh, I had about ten or eleven. Yeah. Hey, five hundred dollar pair of shoes. You ask your mom. You ask your mom, and you're filming me. I don't care. I'm telling the truth. You ask your mom. I always had to wear a suit. I'm sending this to Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle's dead. And I got three of his baseballs. You better have yours, too. Yeah. I sold mine. Mickey Mantle was a Carl Jr. A prick. Mickey Mantle was a prick. Keep it, keep it easy. Keep it nice. Huh? Keep it nice on here. Well, everything I'm saying is God's truth. Go up there, and all the union people, hey, if they drove a heister, they wouldn't get off and help the other union, because that was their only job. Right. And they couldn't help their other buddy. And they had carpet layers, heister drivers, crane operators, and they'd pull in. Well, I come up with a, a solution to hey, unload the boats. So I made this thing like a big cross for each boat, the weight for each boat. I had them welded on. Uh, what's got Christopher on the, on the other side? Of Christopher did. I can't think of him. Also got that welding shop. Made it. Dynamite. No, dynamite didn't. Dynamite was crazy though. But he used to go with me. We set up boats. Of dynamite. 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 Do you remember dynamite? Yeah, he's short. Yeah. Dynamite. And then his son we called Nitro. Nitro and Dynamite. Yep. Boy, we'd go down the road and he'd get a couple of empty bottles. And I'd be drinking. He'd beat them and dash. Brand new Lincoln Marquette. Yep. The one we had right out here in New yep. York. Doing spins. Yep. You drove it. Donuts. You drove it. Yep. I didn't care. No. I trusted you. I love you. I done Joss. I mean, Carl. Uh, Josh the same way. I remember taking uh, clothes, and I had a company van, and we was going out to Billy Wines, and I'd take clothes and set you up. And Nene says, you gonna really drive? I said, yeah, you get in the back. The rest of the kids were in there. We was gonna go out there and see them baby foxes. Remember that? Yeah, and the and the bear. And the bear. And uh, we was going to McLean's, and I was like, well, you can drive. And I put we had some I had some old clothes from uh, running around on the road. I you st I stacked you up and you set on it. Hey, you couldn't ask for a better driver. Driving better than me, son. Just keep on going. Pulled into Billy's Billy's wife standing out there and you got out. Well in the and you sat on all this stuff and you got out and you was about this high. <laughs> I remember one time was coming back from West Frankfurt. And he said, Dad, can I drive this motorcycle? I said, you think you can? And he said, yeah, Dad. Well, I pulled over out by the drive-in thing. Where the drive-in used to be, me and your mom did, went to. And I pulled over there, put you on the front. You couldn't uh, hit the brake or shift the gears. Right. I sat back there, and I shift the gears. And we come all the way in the bed. Here I the little guy on a thousand Suzuki. You was doing the front, hey, and I was shifting for you. And I said, we gotta stop here, Dad, no. I said, okay, I might get a heck of a ticket, but I got the money to pay for it. And we went around the square time, you did, and I was sitting back against the bitch bar, or sissy bar, or bitch bar, bitch killer too. And I was sitting back against that. And hey, all I do is hit the gears, and you drive, hey, man, you was good, you was good. He's dang good. I remember all that. <laughs> I brought you home. Son, you went 150 mile an hour before, over 150 mile an hour before you was born. <laughs> Buddy Hosey got a 750 on with a turbo blower on it. 
me and your mom and Elaine and Buddy was over in Marion. And we was at a bar drinking. Your mom wasn't. She was pregnant. She wasn't drinking the soda. She's pregnant? She, with you. Pregnant? Yeah, pregnated. Okay. No, she's pregnant with Impregnant? you. Impregnant? Yeah, she had you in her belly. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. And uh, we was coming back. Well, me and Buddy was drinking. Elaine had a couple beers. I was drinking whiskey. Buddy says, I'll bet you. Twenty dollars, I can beat you back to bed. And I said, "Hey, it'll have to be 50 He said, "Okay." She, she, me and your mom, we come off, we come off together, me and buddy. Get back on the interstate. I let that old 900, my baby, rock and roll, man. And I said, "Hey, that sucker would let the one man go around run me." And I let it rock and roll. Your mom said, when she's on the back, she said, I tried to beat you in the back to stop. And every time I raised my arm, she'd say, you can ask her about it. Every time I raised my arm, it'd go like that and flow away. <laughs> we got on a bit square. And she got off that. She said, you, you was in there. And I imagine you was going, yeah, I'll get on it. <laughs> and your mom was like, she got off the bike. She said, I'll never ride with you again. And she walked home, and here comes Buddy and Elaine around. Oil all over him. He blew that damn bike up. Oil all over him. Yeah, that's good old days. Then one time your mom dressed up as a clown. Yep. And, and you dressed up as a gorilla. No, I was with Nate when I was with Nate. Oh. But your mom, she dressed up as a clown. Yeah. And she got on the back of my motorcycle backwards, hanging on to the beach bar like this. And we was going around the square, riding around. Boy, she looked good. I mean, she was a good-looking clown. <laughs> we'd ride around the square. And go. Then one time we come into Benton, and you ask her, I'm telling the truth, you know these here covers on the uh, road for water, whatever they checked in the middle of the road? Yeah. Well, it was... Off on the side of the road. Manhole. Huh? Manhole. Manhole, okay. Carry on. I will. <laughs> but we was coming into town. We'd been out party, buddy, and lane, and I can't think of the name. But anyway, we was coming Flop down. Flop Piercy? She was, no. No, Flop Piercy didn't run around with us, did uh, Ken Watkins. Ken Watkins' dad. And your mom was still pregnant with you. Well, well, you ain't crap. It wasn't. Huh? And that, that hole was there. And I went, I hit my brake like twice and went around it. I mean, if I did, if hit that, well, you probably I was alive it. then. Was you? Yeah. When Mom was wearing the clown outfit. Oh, Just, that. But I mean, I'm, I'm talking about another time. Oh. Yeah, you went from the clown story right into oh, this. Oh, okay. Excuse me. And I missed that hole, and oh man, and they all missed it, thank God. Mm -hmm. And went down to the police station, down yep. over here, not here in West City, and yeah. told them it was off. Mm -hmm. You know? Elmer Smith? Elmer Smith is here in West City. Oh. He wrote me and Kathy the first two tickets, our well, first one ticket I ever had. Yep. That's what, what, again. That's what Kathy said. Huh? That's what Kathy said. And Kathy tells the truth. Me and Kathy used to be kind of wild. Yeah. we go out and party. we go to David Tedros. Yeah. And they, I said, I always looked out. I always covered Cat's back. She'd cover mine. And, uh, where's Cat at? We went in here. We was drinking them little Miller Lights. 12-pack Miller Light in the bottle. And we smoked Kathy's in there in the bathtub, put all of her clothes on, water running over, out on the floor. I said, Kathy, what are you doing? She says, I'm taking a bath and I'm having fun. She's going with her arms like this. I said, come on, Kathy, we got to get out of here. Get out of this tub. Turn the water off. We got her out. Well, she was fun. I took her out. Well, it was me and Kathy. Uh, and the twins, uh, your mom and who that, uh, oh my God, I can't think. But we went out right into the country. 
Well, we stopped and got something to eat. We had a little bit of beer. Yeah. And uh, we're going down through uh, uh, Yellow Bank Road, down there where that creek is. And Kathy's in there. Kathy's in the back seat. And I'm driving. I said, man, I see something down there. Oh, it's Cindy and Linda Tasky. And Cindy was sitting in front. Linda was in the back, and Kathy sat next to her. And I had that roadrunner, put my satellite 3-3 in it, where I could run it too. And I got down there, well, you know, this ketchup you buy, that's one you get in your bag, you get a... Cat soup. No, ketchup. Cat soup. And I had some. I said, I seen something down there. I'm going to go check, and the girls are in the car. And uh, there was sapling down there. And I pulled it back. Bam! And I was yelling. And I took that ketchup and put it all over. Thought you had a shotgun down there. No, no, I didn't have no shotgun. I sat one and I pulled back. Bam! It hit another tree. This other sap. And I said, oh my God, something just hit me. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I get halfway up this little hill. Kathy can't get the front seat up. She's trying to climb out the window. Carl, Carl. <laughs> and I get up there. Or she gets out and she says, are you hurt? Oh, you're bloody. What did? What happened? And uh, she grabs her face like that. She smelled it. Oh, shit. I had to run away from her. She's going to kill me. Then one time we had a haunted house out there where uh, you're